All right, guys. Uh, our town golf club is freezing. What's the temperature, boys? <laughs> three, four? No, it's more than that. Come on. It, 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 there you go. <laughs> it's it's three degrees. So I'm not too sure what's going to happen here. And so I'm going to play 18, and we're going to figure it out from there. Uh, all the locals have been brilliant. Lovely, lovely chats. I don't know how far to hit this apart from try not to top it. Oh, uh, par five, you said, boys, but it's been it's a par four. And you said anywhere near that tree or towards that tree. All right, so I might block slice one, so I'll aim straight at it. Oh, that is not what I expected. So is that a hazard there? There you go. That's, a, <laughs> that's exactly what I expected to happen the first swing. I got no idea. Whew. It's terrible. It's terrible. Queensland. Right. Not exactly what I was expecting off the first, and I got no idea where to hit it. So it's a temporary green. Um, I've hit this thing, if I'm lucky, 100 metres. <laughs> so... I got no idea where to hit it. I'm going to hit it in that direction with something that hopefully covers the water and then go from there. But yeah, pardon me. Crazy. So I'm wearing jumper. I've got a thermal underneath that. My hands are freezing. It, it's a pretty incredible looking place. Well, that was flushed. If that's the right line, I don't know. There we go. That's my best shot of the day. I'm moving on. I'm going to get out of here. So there's a, it's very busy. Thanks, Keely. Thanks, uh, Amanda, everybody at Arrowtown. Um, yeah, let's try to not shoot 90. Something along those lines anyway. But this is three degrees. My fingers are killing me. Must be the original homestead or the house or something along those lines. But that's awesome. Tell me how good does that, how good does that look? I've got no idea the distance, and it's a great layup too. <laughs> it stopped very quickly. So it is like the gents were saying back on the tee, 53 metres, uh, temporary green, temporary green here. So <sighs> how good's that? I don't know how people do this, but which which makes me think. I wouldn't like to be, I'd love to live here, but I, I wouldn't like these temperatures. It's pretty full on, but when you've got views and stuff like this, it's pretty awesome. So I'm still playing this as a par five. <laughs> it was a great layup to here. So 53 meters, I don't know what's gonna happen when it hits the ground, so. Done, go kind of on the front edge. I'm going to take that. If I can get away with par on the first hole, I'll be more than bloody happy, especially after that uh, dodgy tee shot. Super high in the toe. Nearly, nearly roofed it. Right, i got no idea. I'm going to keep my glove on, but just enjoy that view. The greens have been renovated as well because it is sort of the opening of the season. Not that long ago. So the greens... So I'm playing here, Arrowtown, and then I've got Millbrook, and then Jax. Um, so, yeah, I I'm, imagine the greens aren't great. Oh, jeez, my fingers. But again, at least my fingers, I can't feel them now, so they're not... It's not hurting too much. Oh, I was going to say, I've made a birdie on the first after skying it. It's really, really a bogey, though, isn't it? But because it is playing as a par four on the card, it's a par five, so that's my mulligan hole. But have a look at that. That's that's what's in front. That's what's behind. Terrible, eh? Right, really quickly, uh, editing uh, the video here, and I didn't record myself off the second hole, so I'm putting it in now. <laughs> 
Um, it's a par four, it's like 360 odd. I hit a three iron and I hit it really bad. And I left myself with 155, I think, meters it was. But you'll see it on here. But uh, yeah, it's 32 degrees here, uh, editing. It's hot, unlike this. So let's get back to it. But yeah, nice, nice, little, uh, nice little par four. Check out this shot. Right, so down there, we've got 155 meters. I've got blades and it's cold. I don't know how many times I'm going to be saying that. The course is awesome. Like I said, they've just renovated, which is, which is, which is good. But it's such a different feeling. The grass is different. Like I said, I've got six on. I don't think that that's going to get here there at all. The greens aren't big. I'm going to nickname this Narrow Town, not Arrow Town, because it is so bloody tight. I was right at it. I think that was right. It was right at it. I just don't know if it went in or not. <laughs> the ball came out really flat. It's either a little long because I actually I actually flushed that. So I actually don't know. I think I think it's a little long. Like almost in. So I'm giving myself that. <laughs> Mate, thank you. Did, it, it was close to going in, wasn't it? <laughs> All right. I'm not even going to putt that. I don't know how you guys deal with this cold, mate. All right. That's me done. Um, where'd that land? Oh, I better fix my pitch marks, but like that was, that was beautiful. All right. Par birdie, I'll take it. All right, third hole. I got no idea. <laughs> like I said, sorry, I'm flying blind, absolutely blind. 180 to the back trees, 164, 164 to the flag. My hands hurt terribly. Um, what am I gonna hit? So I hit 155 downhill and that was basically bang on, and I did flush it. It's just whether or not I want to hit a five iron or not. But pretty awesome. Like I said, it's definitely a narrow, narrow golf course. There's very, like rocks. It's, de yeah, it's definitely cool. But the views is what is amazing. The greens are tiny. The greens are small. It's um, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. And and behind us there, that's that's the uh, the house there of uh, the Shanahan's. I think it is the the original house. So there you go. Imagine living in that. Imagine living in that. Um, so I don't know. Am I going to hit a six iron? <laughs> I'm warmed up, so it's not going to go any further, but I'm, I'll probably hit a six. If I can get anywhere on the green, it'll be good. Like I said, it's, uh, if I can hit, replicate that last shot, that'll be nice. Actually, I'm not even going to tee it up. The grass here is so bloody good, I'm not even going to tee it up. So like I said 155 was downhill, so this has got to go. I've got to hit this really, really well. Try to get some flight. Have a hold another one. I don't know what's going on in New Zealand. I think I'm going to live here forever. That was another decent shot. Hang on, I'm going to zoom in on that. Oh, goodness me. Have I nearly hold that as well? Bloody hell. 
Alright, so it is a bloody good shot. <laughs> like, it absolutely flushed. <sighs> Extremely impressed. Like, for, for greens that have been renovated, they're just punched. It doesn't look like there's, uh... Well, they mustn't scarify. It's, it's just verde drain. Oh, boy. I don't know where it's breaking, but I tell you what, those last two six irons have been sort of the two best six irons I've hit in forever. <laughs> I've left it short. I don't know how I've left that short. <laughs> it's an easy par. That was uh, that should have been in the hole. I thought I hit it plenty hard enough, but uh, I didn't. But how's that view? Terrible. Like, again, that's all I'm going to be saying all day is how bad the bloody view is because it is it's incredible. But uh, it's a pity that wasn't another birdie. Right, so I'm hoping not to hit the same shot as I hit off the first with driver. Um, so it's just the fourth hole, it's a par five. It's a par five, I don't know how far it was, four something or rather. Again, it looks very narrow. The whole course so far looks quite tight. And the way I'm swinging it and hitting it, like I said, this could be anything. Oh. Anything down there is good. <laughs> Maybe I should just hit six iron every time. I feel like it's almost gotten colder. Oh no, that's left. Do something. It bounced a few times, that's a bad shot. I don't know if there's water there or just scrub. <sighs> Come on! <laughs> I can't hit driver. Maybe I should, like I said, just hit six iron off every tee. Right, I've got no idea where I'm hitting it. There's a flag out there, straight through, and that's it. So I don't, I can't go for it. I, I, it's hard. I th I'm just going to try to hit like a little 7-iron through that gap there, I think. Anywhere ne back near the fairway, I think, is good. <laughs> Miss... Oh, don't... It's safe, but that's terrible. That is going to be behind some more trees. Come on, Alan. Right, I actually probably, if, well, if I hit anything half decent, I could have maybe got there. <sighs> 136 of back trees, 100 of the flag. <sighs> Dewy as, so probably a bit flyery. <sighs> probably just a normal 100 metre shot. Um. Again, the green doesn't look very big at all. But yeah, real dewy, so. Okay, come on. Well, it's right at it. Wow, that bounced high. That bounced so high. Okay, the reason, the reason it bounced high is because it bounced short. I was like, how did they hit the green and bounce that high? I'm not in Victoria again. It's uh, short of the, well, it's on the green, but short of the, of the flag. Oh, goodness. Yep. So, it was a good shot, it was definitely right at it, but it, uh, it wasn't long enough. Like I said, that was 100 metres on the dot, and it's landed somewhat back here. 
So it's close, but definitely not hitting the ball as far. Even probably with a little bit of a jumper. Boo. Go. Oh, jeez. Water on the face, but that was a good part. I'm going to take that, but that there is some hard work in this chilliness. Right, what hole are we on? Five. 180. I don't know if four iron's enough. <laughs> um, if I hit it like I've hit those six irons, it'll be great, but... I just don't think it's a five on. I think four should be at least long enough if hit half decent. Somewhere at the pin, I don't know where to hit it apart from at the flag. It's out to the right, cover kick. No idea. No idea. Right, it was definitely going to be short, I missed it the hell out of it, but uh, I did not, not expect to see this <laughs> up here. Have a look at this. Missing it to the right's okay, certainly, but uh, that's a, this is a tough, hey? This is a tough old green. <sighs> Anywhere on the green, I reckon, is good. So the greens are quite slow. I'm glad because that one could have gone off the green a bit, but I don't know, what's that, six foot, 10 foot? The sun may be starting to peer over the hill over here. I can't wait. No idea where it's breaking. So just sort of hit it near the hole and hope for the best. And that's it's kind of what I was going to expect on the greens here that uh, have been done. They're not perfect, but they're still rolling quite good. They're just a little bit on the slow side of things. But other than that, they're actually they're actually quite nice. They're actually quite nice. Oh, look at the sun starting to come up over the mountain over there. So. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. All I know is this is beautiful, and all I know is I'm cold. <laughs> uh, what's this hole? Six? How far? Six, yeah. They've all got names, don't they? Yeah, this is Golden Arrow. Golden Arrow. Well. Let's see if I can hit a golden arrow because I haven't hit a good drive yet today. Uh, they've, no, they've, they've, they've all been dodgy. Is there a place not? Actually, I don't even know why I'm asking because I've hit one right, one left. So. Well, aim to see where that cart is. Yes. Aim for that cart. Straight at that cart. Okay. My body doesn't work this well <laughs> in the cold, and cold in Brisbane is 20. Yeah, that's nice, eh? So, so this is this is terrible. About there? Yeah, Maybe you need to follow me around, tell me the lines. <laughs> no, no, fine. Thank you. Right, you'll be in the right. right. Um, at least that one was hit near the middle of the face, so that was it was okay. It still cut too much. I haven't squared anything up, but that's probably the shot shape. 116. Probably a shot shape I should be playing actually. That sort of pulley sort of cut. Um, 116. I want to be playing that closer to 120. So it's a wedge. Uh, I don't know when I'm actually going to warm up. Uh, still got to do the drone footage, but very, very nice. As like I said, it's a crack of a day. Millbrook, when I play Millbrook tomorrow, it's meant to be raining and stuff. So I hope that that's not the case, but 
We shall see. It's just to the right of it. I think it's just missed the green on the right. I mean, safe. Got underneath that a little bit. Didn't compress it as much as I wanted to. But um, at least they're being struck better now than they were in the beginning. Yeah, they've certainly cut some pins pretty close to edges of greens. But yeah, that's just missed. It's not, it's not that bad of a shot, but kind of started at it and then sort of cut away a little bit. Oh, come on. So yeah, the greens are slow, but they're actually not too bad. Like it's, it bumped a lot around the edge of the green there. And that was mainly because of the, uh, so they look like they've scarified around the edge and they've maybe some of the fairways as well, but definitely around the fringes of the surrounds of the greens, it looks like they've done some scarifying on the greens. Just looks like it's been, uh, just been punched. So moving along very fast. The round will be over before I know it, and uh, I won't be warm by that stage. Everyone's so nice here, just quietly. Right, so, uh, seventh hole? Yep, seventh, par three. Well, it's probably a six iron again. So I've got 150. So it's, well, again, as, as I would say, I'm slightly more warmed up. If I hit a good one, seven should be about right. If I miss one, it's definitely short. Hitting back in the mountains looks so cool. Okay, come on. Don't get under it, keep on top of it. Let's just hit the same shots I hit those two six irons because they were absolutely magic. Well, Alan, that's right at it. Go in. Don't kick forward. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to say that's hit the pin. <sighs> Gee, you know, you can't see a thing. How crazy is this? Have a look at the slope of the hills and stuff there. Maybe that's it, just long there. But it landed just to the right of it. But look at that. I mean, that really is spectacular. Right, the sun's starting to come out. That was a very good shot. For whatever reason, it looks like the batteries are starting to die on the mic, which uh, sucks. So I don't know if it's this little doobie or it's the main doobie. So I might have to change the audio at some stage, I would think. Just because it it's red already, so that's not cool. Oh boy, isn't this a different sight? All right, come on. A nice birdie would be nice. <sighs> that has come out completely different to the rest of them. This is faster. But how small are these greens? <laughs> it's definitely narrow town. It is narrow, narrow. Look how small these greens are. Humps and bumps. It's fun, but you can get some funky bounces, I'm sure. I'm sure you can get some weird ones. Rightio, so the audio is different because the mic died a bit. But anyway, we'll make that work. Um, I didn't film my tee shot on there. I did not push record. I got 120. Sun's out. How good. 
Um, same shot as I hit in the previous hole. Pitching wedge, I think will be very, very good, but how's the sun coming out? Absolutely amazing. Okay, pitching wedge. Fall below my feet a little bit. As I said, you won't be able to hear me as well, which sucks a little bit. As I said, we'll make it work. Just right of it. It's going to be a decent shot, I think. The guys here, they move quick, I tell you that. Group of two behind me, they're moving very, very fast. The fella in front, he's moved on, which is nice. Where'd that go? Not a bad shot. So the ball's definitely not going far. Like that's 120 and I've landed way short. And I've hit that really, really, really well. So it's because it's cold. Speed's not still quite up there, but it's like a good club short, or it's about a club short. That's what I was worried about, speed. I just, I just don't have the speed at all. They're slow. Tell you what, it'd be nice to make a birdie. <laughs> Another one anyway. Because I'm hit, I feel like I'm hitting it pretty damn good. Especially how I started, but I feel like I'm hitting it okay, just not uh, not holding some putts. But the greens weren't perfect. I wasn't I wasn't thinking that I was gonna hold too many putts today, but again, it's more at the views and just enjoying New Zealand golf, or at least Aratown, Millbrook and Jacks. Right, this is so strange. I mean, after playing here now. I think you need, a course guide would be awesome because this just looks funky as. I'm teeing off the watch just because the blues are a bit far back and I couldn't, uh, couldn't get the camera on there to see the whole swing. It's like five meters behind us. So, <laughs> it's nine tile, like it's 3.30 and it's basically just trying to hit it over the corner of these hills here by the looks of it. And the telephone pole and the way distance is the key, I think. Freaking beautiful. Right, it's a good tee shot. Probably the uh, the best tee shot of the day. Like I said, I'm sorry the audio is not perfect. 90 uh, because of I don't have the wireless mic on. I mean, right now it should probably sound pretty good, but as I'm at a distance and whatever else, it's not ideal. 88 meters. I think it's almost just like a decent sand wedge. It's it's not full, but it's not far from it. Sit. Wow, there's almost jump. Oh wow. So that was actually a smidgen short. It's a really good shot. That'd be tall, about six foot maybe. Um, that's a pretty good shot. There's a bit of water here. Like this is such a tough little track because like I said, there's slopes everywhere. I said sit and it's, a, it's just a good shot. But there's, um, there's rocks and everything. I mean, this is, this is what you look back at. So that's the T block back there, down the middle there, and then you got all this rock, you got quite a bit of room further to the right, but a bit of water down here to the left, just, just awesome, hey, look at that. 
nice little bit of warmth coming out of there. Um, like I said, I've been hitting it all right. Like I said, off the tee, not the best. But um, at least iron shot tip. It's not a long course. I think it's 5,500 off the tips. Meters. So it's not long. All right, two birdies for that nine. I'll take it. Um, I don't know, what am I? I bogeyed one for sure. I bogeyed on, a, uh, on the par three. So it's either if we take the first hole as a par five, well then I'm one under. And if we take as, as a four, then I'm square. So that means I'd have bogeyed the first and bogeyed the par three with two birdies. Either way, I'm happy with how I'm playing. I still can't talk properly. Uh, it's still too cold. But uh, sun's out, it's behind the clouds, it's warming up, and this is very, 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 very good. But like I said, thanks to Keely and everybody here. We do not get this in Queensland. We do not get this in Australia too much. We don't get these views, especially the snow-capped mountains, like, amazing. Beautiful, and don't forget, Smash that like button. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're that's what you say, don't you? Oh, that's what they say to say. Hey? I don't know. If you don't like it, don't like it. Hit, hit this like. Who cares? Yep. I don't care. But anyhow, see you then. Beautiful. See you. <laughs>